Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm back with some more Fake Grand Order, because guess what? Brand new stages are up in uh, the Battle for New York. The current Lotto Fest that's going on in North America, if you don't know, there was preliminaries and now we're in, I believe it's a main event, and then after this it's the finals. Uh, how does it advance? Just naturally. So you can see in four days we'll get the final event of it, and from that point on, that's it for the remainder of the, of the, of the festival here, so... You can also see here, I've actually beaten these. I just did it off camera because I didn't actually expect to beat them. Um, if you're actually interested in seeing me try these again, uh, this one with the Leonidas being super hard and Bryce Man over there being probably the most RNG dependent. I don't know, tell me. If you want to see it, I'll do it, but otherwise I'm perfectly fine. These are not easy. and I, Well, except for, I think these is actually pretty easy. At least my setup, it was pretty easy. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. So we're going to start with this. Of course, remember, if you do end up liking this, you can leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. Uh, September is a pretty slow month, I think, for YouTube is what it was explained to me. So I'm not actually fretting it too much because, hey, what can I do? It's September. So if you're watching, I appreciate it. Just know that. So let's see. The first one, so we're going into club. This should be all, yeah, it's all that. So let me check. What we want here is french fries. So let's see if we can find a maximum of broken french fries. No, we can't find any, but this would be perfectly fine. So this is the team we got for it. Um, this should, in theory, work out. I actually don't have 100% confidence in it, but... Um, anything's possible. So basically what, hap what I have to do is beat the first, uh, the first dudes using just the main characters I have in the front. And then for the second wave, hit him with Iskandar's NP. And then for the final wave, hope that I still have Quetz available. Hope that I have a Quetz card available. Because she currently has a 200% um, damage CE on her. So this is actually very unfortunate because I got exactly what I didn't want. So let's see how much her damage is with 200% up. Yeah, this is uh, much power. Very strong. So we should still be able to do it as long as Quetz's other card doesn't show up here, I think. God damn it! <laughs> Immediate failure! Immediate failure! This is unbelievable. Um, I'll go here. Oh, I actually shouldn't have done any of that. Damn it. Right, I have to hope that he doesn't actually kill. I want him to survive and see if I can get um, as much NP on Quetz as possible. I could have actually just fought that by actually using it. Anyway, what I wanted to do has been completely defeated already, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and he's too strong. He's too stupid both to actually not accidentally kill both, so... Damn. Alright, then. We're not going to be able to... 3-turn it the way I wanted. Eh, it was just fine. Ugh. It's annoying. But what can we do? Is this? This saves for three turns, so I'm just gonna. The next time we use it on this. Actually, I might still be able to. No. That's annoying. Went to the wrong card. Nah, okay, that's much better. That's much better. I think we have a shot here. But it's actually gonna require a lot of uh, luck. We might be able to save this. We might be able to save this. I think this is just... Yeah. So, I'm going to go... Basically, the idea is, can I deal 40,000 with... Alright. Because he's 100% guarantee I'm going to go this way. I'm going to trust in Iskandar's strength. Nice! Yes! <laughs> That's what I like to see. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Alright then. That was simple. And that's the fry node. I'm going to be doing this a little bit later. Uh, I think this is the one I want to do. Actually, let me double check. I think... Because that one is the mystic eye drop thingy. I don't remember what it's called, but... I don't think I need that. Oh, it chains is the next one. So actually, the next one is the one I'm actually going to be grinding my fries. For the very, very finals. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, we got... The Road War. The Road Rollers? The play on the Road Warriors? 
Uh, for this one, this one's simple. Um, let me see, I think I need... Yeah, I need hot dog. Let me see if I got any hot dog friends in here. Anybody a hot dog? No, no one's using hot dog friends. Scotty is 100% all um, beef. No, that's a lie. No, she's pretty beefy, actually. Depending on who you ask. What am I talking about? Anyway, go in here. This one's pretty simple. It's the basic combo. Battle of New York. It's a good intro. Good intro song. Anyway, uh, how's everyone else's time been doing, by the way? My grind session, as you can see, has been going pretty well. I think I'm currently at 14 boxes, I think. So I've been finished with the main event. I could, in theory, stop, but I'm not stopping until much later. I got some one of Koo's skills to level 10 and I think one more to level 9. So I'm trying to use um, all of the buffalo. I think I'm at the point now where, though, um, I'm just going to stop uh, using the lotto. No, actually... I don't think I'm at that point yet. I like opening the lotto and kind of um, having something to show for the work I put in, basically. So that's what I like to do. But I think in the last seven days, I'll stop um, using the lotto and I'll just straight up, like, not touch it and then do nothing but grind. When there's only seven days remaining, though. Then and only then will I actually do it. Okay, let's see. So that was very bad, but... I was very bad for a lot of reasons, because I forgot, so... Go here. Okay, so I have to hope that she basically does not... Does not kill him. So she can grind him in the middle there. Let's see if this works out. I forgot that Ushi has a little bit of a problem when it comes to, uh... NP generation. It basically, if it doesn't hit... 30%, it actually makes things a little bit harder for me. Come on, that wasn't... Damn it! God! One moment. God. <sighs> well, I tried to have her have a little bit more, but there was just, like, no going. So, there's no point in trying. Damn it, Ushi. Why is your NP generator? This is the actual problem when you don't run servants that have full level 10 skills. I need to level that up better. So she has more what she needs. So I'm gonna go with because you have an invincibility. I'm gonna go with you first. And then whoever survives is gonna get Ushi stung. Yeah, I'll have to work on this. Don't tell me you're gonna use your stupid ass invincibility. God, I hate you so much. You're such an unbelievable prick. Unbelievable prick. Unbelievable prick. Unbelievable. Oh, not three turning something. When specifically that was what I was trying to do. He's gonna live. Oh no, he actually did die from that. Oh god. His whole world- oh, I'm pausing. Fuck this. Alright, I finished that. So next one, I just didn't want to waste any more time on it. It's making me angry, getting all Scotties. But it ended up being full Scotty thing that beat her, so... Didn't matter in the end. Alright, next is Shinjuku. This one, I think- oh, I remember this one. I know this one very well. I think I have to get a waiver friend though, so that might actually be kind of an issue. Cause who runs a waiver anymore? You run waiver, thank God. Uh, this one also sucks because I need hamburgers, so I, I should actually change my team because I think this one I plan to actually grind. Let me see, this one drops steaks, so yeah. Yeah, this one I actually plan to grind. Ooh. All right, let's go. Steak grinding. Very tedious. Requires a lot of stuff. So the more stuff you have for it, the better. The good news, though, is that for Ushi, I didn't need to- I don't need to grind that node, so... I don't have to worry about it. Because I don't need horseshoes. Or teardrops. 
I need to get my Ushi skills fully built up. I think that's the answer to that. Because Ushi can definitely do it, it's just that it's random at the moment. Alright, so... This? Good job. Easy first round. This one specifically is built for speed, so the more that I kill, the faster I kill, the better, to be honest. And I don't have any burger anything. I don't have any burger stuff anything. Alright, so... Use this. Use this. Use some Ishtar skills. Because basically next turn this is all where it ends. So Ishtar, Ishtar has 50% NP um, gain from her... Not NP gain, but NP. She gets a charger. So it makes it so... That's why I was like, oh, I need that friend specifically. Okay. Um, she also has 200%. Uh, she gets 50% from her skill 3. And she is getting 200% from the CE. Because it is the battle one. So I'm going to tell you right now... If Ishtar does not one-shot kill the next two dudes that she's about to fight, she is trash. Because she has oh, so many buffs, it's not even funny. So, she needs to one-shot both of these. She doesn't have class advantage at one of them, so I'll give her a benefit of the doubt for that one. But if she is not dead, this unit is unbearable trash. That's just a fact of it. And she gets Buster up. She should one-shot this thing, no problem. Ishtar? Ishtar? Thank you! God, you're beautiful when you work. <laughs> I was about to say, there was no way in hell that she was, uh... She has level 10 skill, she was getting that. Ooh, fancy. That's what I wanted. Alright. Final, final node, and this one is actually simple because it's the same, because it's a grand box. I'm only using one specific team for it because I don't have time. I need the quickest, fastest solution possible, and this is the quickest, fastest solution possible. Made manifest. Uh, so let's go here. And then we're going to get... It doesn't matter who I get for the final one. Wait, I clicked the wrong one. I can already tell. What, really? Am I not looking at the right thing? Oh, I am looking at the right thing. Okay, weird. Um, if this were... If the final two bosses here were kings, I would 100% use Shirazade, but they're not. So, for maximum efficiency, I'm using this team. Because this is the most efficient team, because I don't need anything else but what I have currently equipped. And I think for the final node, I think is gonna be, I think it requires a, it doesn't require, but it does use, uh, it might be, this might be, this might be it till the end, I think, for me. Old reliable, as they say. Lancelot has never once failed me. He hasn't totally messed up getting something and screwed up my plans on grinding. He's never done that once. And he isn't gonna plan to start doing it now. I did notice that the scouted Oni actually kind of bears a little bit of a problem. Because Lancelot needs at least... Hmm... 50%? He should get 50. He should get 70 from this. He should 100% get 70 from this. He's MP4. That's what I fucking thought. Get your shit in correctly, Lancelot. Ooh, ultimate Orochi. Okay. Now again, like I said before, if he actually survives, that's gonna be good because that means that I don't need to worry about um, using my Mystic Code to finish this off. Ooh, uh... But yeah, that's uh, those those are the new stages, man. Test them out. Run whatever team you feel like. Just run whatever team you think will keep you sane, because that's the team. That's how I choose my teams. It's not necessarily well. They're built for speed, but also they're built to keep me sane. Because if I use the same, if I use this specific setup every single time, I think I'd actually stop playing the game. I have to have some variety, or else I'll go insane. So. That's the end of today's video, everyone. Lancelot has 100% got this. He's going to kill both of them in one go. So 
So until next time, everyone. Wait. All right, fine. He's gonna kill everyone in one go. Until next time, everyone. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to leave that like if you end up liking it. See ya. Goodbye. で喜んでドルポンドを喜んで。<笑>